Hello students, welcome to Crack Grade B online learning platform and uh, we wish you a very happy new year. So in this video lecture series we are continuing and it is lecture 7. We will cover the 5 most important MCQs from RBI CP circulars in 5 minutes which are very important for upcoming exam of CB grade A and RBI grade B. This is tale about our test series say be graded to 2020 paper 2 test series we are providing it will cost you rupees 2 double line only 10 mock test will be there 50 question in each mock and test series and mcq's course also it will cost you rupees 599 only 10 mock test and 50 question in each mock and topic wise mcq total mcq's will be 2000 plus mcq's you can register our website crackgradeb.com and subscribe the courses First question, National Payments Corporation of India shall develop the facility of positive pay in CTS system, check recognition system and make it available to the participant bank. Banks in turn shall enable it uh, for all account holders issuing checks for amount of rupees dash and above. So right answer is 50,000 and above. What is the check this uh, positive pay system in means if uh, anyone is submitting the check then the bank will cross check the details uh, from the issuer of the check so the checks above 50,000 and above and bank may make it mandatory for uh, 5 lakh and above it depends on the bank so positive pay system shall be implemented from the January 1st 2020 which of the following is the implementation agency for the interest prevention scheme for MSMEs RBI, CDB, NABARD, Ministry of Micro Small Medium Enterprises, and none of the G. So, CDB is the nodal agency, implementation agency for the interest subvention scheme for the MSME, in which 2% interest subvention is provided to the eligible MSME and uh, coverage means uh, all terms loan or capital to the extent of rupees 100 lakh. That is the eligibility criteria sorry eligibility criteria limit of the loan no interest subvention shall be admissible for any period during which the account remains npa small industrial development bank of india is the single national level nodal implementation agency for the scheme next question is hfc is an nbfc whose financial assets in the business of providing finance for housing constitute at least what percent of its total assets so housing finance company so how much percentage of it total asset should constitute from uh, finance for housing so 25% 40% 50% 60% so 60% is the right answer housing finance company shall mean a company incorporated under the company sec 2013 that fulfills the following condition it is an nbfc whose financial asset in the business of the providing finance for housing constitute at least 60% of its total assets means the, the total assets any company nbfc heavy that if it is it constitutes 60 percent means finance for housing then it is a housing finance company out of the total assets no less than 50 percent should be way of housing financial for individual next question is the irda has issued a standard individual travel life insurance product called for bharat to be mandatorily offered by all of insurance companies from january 1st 2020 onwards Sal Jeevan Bhima, Bhar Jeevan Bhima, Jeevan Tron Bhima, Jeevan Lab Bhima. So it's a Sal Jeevan Bhima for Bharat to be mandatorily offered by all life insurance company from January 1st, 2020 onwards. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has a issued a standard individual term life insurance product called Sal Jeevan Bhima for Bharat, which is mandatorily offered by all life insurance companies from January 1st, 2020 onwards. Insurance have to file the product with IRD latest by December 1st, 2020. Minimum sum insured under the product will be 5 lakh. Maximum can go up to 25 lakh. The insurer will have the option providing providing some assured beyond rupees 25 lakh also. Minimum age of entry is 18 years. Maximum has been capped at 65. The maximum maturity age will be 70 years. The policy term will extend from 5 to 40 years. The plan is mainly aimed at lower income group, 20 to 25% of 
for whom for whom term life insurance becomes the last priority due to higher premiums so fifth question is sebi has decided to amend sebi issue of capital and disclosure requirements regulation 2018 and threshold for filing requirement of right issue draft letter of offer with the board for its observation has been increased from rupees 10 crore to 50 crore is the right answer 50 crore is the right answer earlier it was limit was up to 10 below 10 crore rupees they no need to file the draft letter of offer to the board for observation but it has been increased to in that a regulation are made little easy and the limit has been increased the threshold has been increased to 50 crores so below 50 crores they no need to file the draft letter of offer with the board for its observation so these are the details about rbi grade b course and seb grade a course uh, rbi grade b course esi and fm we are providing for phase 2 exam video in static form online pdfs for current and government scheme part mocks will be there 10 mock test will be there mcqs will be there chapter wise mcqs it will cost you rupees 2499 paper to seb grade a course we are also providing and it, our uh, specific thing about our course is that we are providing the most economical and all content is very specific it can be converted covered in uh, lit means uh, shortest time it as compared to other and uh, in sebi course uh, commerce and accountancy will be in the video format economics will be in the video format other are other content will be in the online pdf format mcqs will be there rupees 2000 only register to our website crackgradeb.com and subscribe the courses till date in every exam 70 to 80% question asked in the exam were covered from our, uh, in our study materials and proof was shared immediately after the exam at our social media platforms these are our courses you can subscribe by registering at our website and uh, please share the video to your friends who are preparing for the exam also like the video and uh, subscribe our channel also provide the feedback about the questions or any topic you would like to suggest on which we should cover the mcqs for the cb grade exam and rbi grade b thank you and happy learning